Recently, OpenAI has updated GBT4 Turbo. Earlier this week, I went over the implications of this model when it comes to pricing and everything above the board there. But in today's video, let's learn how to actually use this model. Now, in order to use a model like this, we can either access it in a code way or a no code way. But in today's video, I'm going to show you a no code way to access this new endpoint that allows us to visually see elements. And we're going to test three major elements here. We're going to test a picture of two cats. Next, we're going to test a picture of an invoice. And finally, we're going to test a cover letter. Let's go ahead and find out the full capabilities of this new endpoint and how to start using it in our software in a no code way. Earlier this week, I did a video on GPT-4 Turbo and Vision, and we went over all the implications of it, the pricing of it, so much so that I even gave an example of how much it would cost to run a platform like this. That was one of the examples. So you can check out that video right here. In today's video, though, let's go ahead and find out how we can leverage it in a no code way. More specifically, we're going to use Zapier today. If you don't know what Zapier is, basically, this is an automation platform. This allows us to automate workflow through software. Check out that video right there if you want to know how to integrate the two you know, factors here we're going to see today, which is going to be Zapier and OpenAI. Let's go and begin. To test out this new endpoint, let's go ahead and create a new Zapier. We're going to call it Vision AI. And we're going to try three different types of uh, files here. We're going to try the invoice, like I said earlier, the cats, and a cover letter. So the trigger I'm going to use today is going to be Google Drive. Go to Google Drive here. We're going to do an event of new file and folder. So continue here. Continue. I'm going to choose the specific folder that I care about here, which is going to be test data here. And we'll just test this action. We should find no file. So actually, before we test that, let's go over and come over to our folder here and drag in our first file. I have dragged in the file here. Notice how I gave it a crazy name. I don't want it to be able to leverage the metadata to get more context with the images. Let's purely use this endpoint. So we're going to do our folder of test data here. Let's find the data point, test trigger. I'm going to hand it found it right here. So we got the file extension of JPEG. We say continue with selected record. Our next block here is just going to be a chat GPT block. So now we don't have to deal with making this a webhook or dealing with an API endpoint. We can actually use a native feature that Zapier built out for us. We're going to do analyze image content with vision. Continue. Choose your account. Let's go ahead and do the image here that we care about. We're going to do file exists but not shown. And then to gut check the first one, we're just going to simply ask what is shown in this image. So period here. And we're gonna use a max token 250, that's fine. We're gonna continue and test this step. So we should get an answer of like two cats. Here we go, y'all. It passed test one. The image shows two cats side by side. On the left, there is a cat with dark brown fur on its face, ears, and tips of its paw, like a Siamese or similar breed with striking blue eyes. On the right, there is a white cat with yellow eyes. Let's go and confirm this. That is confirmed. Kind of green, but mostly yellow, white cat, and a Siamese cat with blue eyes. Okay, we have confirmed that it can handle and contextualize images. Can we handle invoices though? I'm gonna go ahead and double click this for y'all. This is the invoice we're dealing with today. So I'm gonna ask a very specific question here. Let's go ahead and ask for the balance due and the bill to information and see if it can actually read and internalize invoices. I'm gonna say find new record here. This is how you find new records that you put in to try to test here. And to make my life easy, I'm gonna type in screenshot. Here we go. So if you're really like having a hard time finding through the data, you can simply use that search bar right there. And I know it's called screenshot. I know a very good name, right? <laughs> and we have it right here. So we got it. it's the extension is a PNG. I'm gonna hit continue with selected record. And we're gonna go ahead and use analyze image of content and vision. Now what's cool about this is that we don't have to actually put the image file itself within the prompt. It, they already have this like nice little feature here. And it also looks like it can do multiple images here. As outlined by this guide right here, we could do one or multiple images. So there might be a context where you actually wanna do something like that. It looks like it is able to support PNG, JPEG, WebP, and non-animated GIFs and then file maximum size of 20 megabits. Let's go ahead and try to ask a very specific question here. We're gonna say, what is the balance due and who is it billed to? Keep it simple, keep it fresh, hit retest step. Let's go ahead and see if this is correct. So the first part says the balance due is $2,844.80. Double click here, $2,844.80, okay. The invoice is billed to Alan Smith, Alan Smith, 87 Private Street, Seattle, Washington. 87 Private Street, Seattle, Washington. His email is alan at gmail.com. Very creative name there, right there. Yeah, no, it works. Pass step two or test two. Let's go to move to test three, which is going to be a cover letter. Open this up. Let's ask a couple questions here. So we're going to first off ask the individual's name and let's find a very specific data point here that we can reference. The data point we're going to reference to gut check this is going to be the completion rate, which is 90%. Come back to our trigger here. Or actually, no, we're going to come back to test here. I'm going to say find new record. I'm going to make my life easy. I'm going to just search cover as that is the name of the file here. I'm going to say continue selected record. Continue, continue. And let's go and do that. So we're going to say what is the person's name and completion rate. Obviously, I could have proctored this 
to be very specific to handling any type of cover letter. So find me these key points, summarize the cover letter above the board, whatever you'd want to use in this context. And so what is the person's name and the completion rate? So we should get 90% and we should get the name of Jonathan Draper. So the person's name of the letter is Jonathan Draper. He mentions a project completion rate of 90% and a 100% compliance rate with building codes, zoning regulations, and industry best practices. Let's gut check 100%. And there you go, which has resulted in a 100% compliance rate on all building projects under my supervision. Pass test three. What do y'all think? Are you going to start using it? Let me know in the comments of any type of automation you want to see in the context of vision and see if it's even possible. Maybe I can do a video on that. I'm going to leave a playlist at the end here that's going over everything you need to know when it comes to artificial intelligence and automation like this. It's over 80 videos long now. I'm also going to leave a video that I did two days ago, which goes over other context for this endpoint that you can start leveraging. One really cool thing I did in that video is the context of having a platform where you have a thousand individuals, they process 90 images a month and what the cost would be associated with that. Without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. That's the playlist I was referring to about AI and automation. That video right there goes over the cost associated with creating an application and the value you can provide a consumer. That's my face. I'll see you in the next video.